Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, quick shout out to I am Ash Nicole. Hey girl, thanks for being the first to comment on my last video. So today's going to be a good one. I'm starting from the beginning. We're going to prep first and then we're going to go in and do our nails. Y'all know I don't really prep in my videos. So I'm showing you my full prep routine. As you can see, I'm going in with this cuticle pusher. You can get these from anywhere, Amazon, drugstore, literally anywhere. And I'm just pushing my cuticles back. I also use a cuticle softener, but I didn't put that in this video. Um, but yeah, you can go in with that in a cuticle softener. So now we're just going to go in and really make sure that our cuticles are fully off of our nail beds. That's the most important thing with getting your nails to stick. Nine times out of ten, if you know products aren't sticking to your nails well and your nails are popping off it's most likely because of your prep so as you can see here i'm going in with a round drill bit and this nail lamp this nail file i actually purchased from amazon it's great i love it super cute it's giving me cotton candy vibes but i'm just going in and doing cuticle work and just really making sure that the cuticles are fully off of my nail beds and i use those two different drill bits for that next I go in with a sanding bit and this is where I'm going to just completely take off all the shine on my nails and if you have a little bit of you know residue on there you want to make sure you get that off but yeah I'm going in with a I believe this is like a fine nail grit and I'm going on the lowest speed possible for that part you want to make sure you go on the lowest setting because you don't want to like you know damage your nails so after wiping that off I'm going to go in with some nail primer slash dehydrator I purchased this one from Amazon it's super cheap but it works for me so I think it was like five bucks four bucks something crazy so I was like add to cart <laughs> I'll have the link for it down below but yeah, I'm going to go in and use that first. After I finish applying that, I'm going to go in with this Young Nails Bond Protein. Um, I love this stuff. And this honestly changed the game for me. Some people love it. Some people hate it. The thing about nail prep and primer and dehydrator and all that good stuff is everything doesn't work for everybody. It's like different. You know, everybody don't like uh everybody don't like pepperoni on a pizza well it's not gonna work for everybody because everybody is different every nail bed is different so try it out though this really works for me like if i put this on oh my nails are not going nowhere for a very long time and with all my other prep routines this has been the best one for me so just keep that in mind if something's not working for you just you know switch out a base coat or switch out a prep or switch out a primer or a dehydrator and make a routine that works for you so right there i just went in with some base coat and i used the model ones base coat because that's what that is what works best for me i really love their top coat and base coat as well so here i'm going in with some press on nails y'all i told you i was going to give you a press on nail video and here it is so i'm using these chris chris girl what i'm using these kiss acrylic press on nails i got these from walgreens and obsessed puking dying throwing up girl these are beautiful i know you've seen them in a whole bunch of videos so we're going to go in with the viral kiss nails today this kit comes with a mini emery board a joke we will not be using that and it also comes with a wooden stick and it comes with a whole bunch of nails. I forget how many come in the set, but there's honestly a pretty good amount of nails. I might be able to get like two sets out of this kit. Maybe. That might be pushing it, but I might have to do some filing and whatnot. But they come in two different or a few different sizes. They come in real short, short, medium, and I believe long. So we're going in with real short today and all I'm doing is going in and sizing out my nails. These kits honestly come with a lot of sizes too. So I'm not mad at it. I'm really honestly quite impressed with these false nails. So we will be using these nail tips with my solid nail tip glue gel as I promised you guys this video in my last video. <clears throat> I just want to mention though, if you will be using a solid nail tip glue with false nails, the nails cannot be like 
dark you know what i mean like the false nails can't be black press-ons well the uv light can't penetrate through a black polish and cure the soft you know nail cover so you want to make sure that these are kind of transparent you kind of want to make sure that the false nails that you're using are transparent that's what will work best with my product that's what works best with my product so i just want to throw that out there don't get it if you're expecting it to work with every single press on you get because if you have a press on that's highly polished and there's no way light can seep through it then it most likely is not going to cure so here is my solid um nail tip glue gel i obsessed with it i really love this product and you guys have been loving it too i read your comments on of course my youtube but i also read your comments on my etsy shop which is where i do sell this at i will make sure i have the link down below and i'm so happy you guys are loving it um but yeah i'm just going in and and putting a small amount at the cuticle part and then i just literally push it on there i kind of angle it about 45 degrees and then i just pr press it on there i'm purposely putting this in slow-mo because or regular mode and not speeding this part up because i just want you guys to see the process so i push it on there and you'll get the hang of it sooner or later if you put a little too much gel in it you can just do what i'm doing here take a little brush and then get the excess off of the side of your nails and i'm just playing with it making sure it's you know perfectly on there but what i love about this is like it's not like gel like a um glue gel where you have to use a overhead lamp and you have to apply steady pressure and then you have to cure and then you have to move your hand so you can cure the part that you were pressing down like it's not doing that because that's doing too much in my opinion i was never ever one for that i couldn't like the uv light and applying glue gel and then no absolutely not girl this is easy this and poly gel is my jam like i love this solid nail tip glue gel it makes life so much easier for me so yeah i only sell it in clear but i am thinking about bringing colors possibly Yeah, so I'm just speeding it up here and showing you guys how easy this process is. But I just want to mention that you can do a lot with these products, especially with this. Like you can honestly do like a silhouette and create the illusion of French tips with this solid nail tip glue. And I'll show you guys more of what I mean um, towards the end. I think I left that part in there if I didn't excuse me, but for my thumb parts, I show you guys the difference of how you can make it look full coverage or how you can make it look like a French tip. You can play with this so many different ways. Love this product. As I said, the link is down below in my Etsy shop, but yeah, I'm just going in and I'm doing my nails, but yeah, I'm just going in and applying my nails realistically to do a full set of nails and use this product. No cap, I'm serious y'all. It probably takes about five minutes, no joke. Five minutes or less. That's how quick and easy this product is. And especially when you get the hang of it, game over. So I cure each hand. I left it in for a little bit longer just because these are false nails that have a hint of color. So I would say I went in and cured my nails for one full minute with each nail. So here I'm kind of showing you um, my thumbs and I think here is where you'll, you'll see what I mean when I say you can create an illusion of a French tip. So as you can see, it's giving French, you know what I mean? Like if you want to do French like that for all your nails, you can definitely go for it. 
but um i'm also going to show you guys and i'm putting a little bit more product in this one what it will look like if you want to go full coverage so i did have to finagle this one because i did get a little bit of excess um around the cuticle area but yeah you can do so many different things with these nails and i love them honestly i think i would buy them again they were they're a hit but yeah i slowed it down but as you guys can see here you can go in and create a french illusion or full nail cover illusion so you can do a lot with these nails i really like them i really enjoyed doing this video so here's what they're looking like obsessed super in love we're gonna go in with my go-to this is my forever favorite polish this is cozy cashmere by eye gel beauty i'm not gonna lie to y'all eye gel beauty um i would never order for them again i love this gel polish if i ran out of it yes i would order from them again to get it but that is it they take way too long for their products to get here and it's i'm just not feeling it like i don't have capacity it took this product three months to get to my house even when you order from china like y'all know it takes about a month maybe maybe a month and a half three months waiting for this product nothing in life is worth that i'm not waiting three months for this so just keep that in mind it might have just been my experience but yeah that's the color it's giving beautiful that's why it's my favorite they <laughs> they made a banger with this one but <laughs> i can't do the processing and shipping time that was highly irritable Anywho, I'm going to go in with the Model 1's top coat. As I said before, y'all know I love the Model 1's top coat and base coat. They just work the best for me. I love the brush handle. I love the brush tip. It's just perfect. They're my favorite. They are in my Amazon storefront if you're interested in trying them out. And I will make sure that I leave a separate link to them down below. But I'm going in and as you saw, I do my thumbs first, cure those separately. And then I go in and do the rest of my hands. So bam, I'm going in with cuticle oil. I do have a brand new cuticle oil that is coming to my Etsy shop and it will be live maybe when this video is loaded. If not, then it will be live the following day. So check out my Etsy shop if you want to see that new product. But here's the final result. Super adorable. Like love these nails. I'm not going to lie to y'all. After this video, I added some bling and I did like a marble design. But I wanted to give y'all natural, you know, because I haven't done like a short natural tutorial in a minute. But I did add a little bit charms. I Maybe I'll put a picture in of what I did. But yeah. Here's the final look, super obsessed. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next one.